Nicolette out here at Hidden Villa and Hidden Villa is a 1600 acre wilderness preserve and that wilderness surrounds a beautiful valley where we have our farming. So here at Hidden Villa we raise food for the farmers market and to to give to people in need so it's really exciting. Um, this kind of farming that we do is called organic farming. So I have a question for you. What does organic farming mean to you? So I asked you what may seem to be a pretty simple question and I bet you all had some good ideas about what organic farming is. But actually what I learned um, from my friend Jason here, he's the farmer at Hidden Villa, is that there are different kinds of organic farming. So I needed to get an expert in here to really get the story and I just wanted to ask you Jason if you could explain a little bit about what kind of organic farming we do here. For us an organic farm is a farm that grows food without using poisons. Yeah. We don't spray our plants with anything to try and kill off bugs and other problems or kill off weeds. You know, pesticides, these, these um, chemicals, were developed by using science. But um, is, is there a way that you can use science to, to maybe enhance the soil, make it better, so that you can have healthier plants? Absolutely. Our, our methods are based on a scientific approach of examining our local ecosystem mm. and seeing what works here. Yeah. We also, we farm here in a way that's more like the way that nature grows plants. Oh really? And so um, I've seen farms where there's just rows and rows and rows of corn as far as you can see or rows and rows and rows of broccoli. And I've never really seen a, a part of the wilderness where there's just one kind of plant in a big patch. So is that what you're saying? That we, exactly. we try to farm um, in, in, a, in a way that's more like the wilderness. Yes, in nature you never see just one plant growing. Uh, we strive here to, in every field, in every area that we grow plants, we have all kinds of different types growing together. And when you plant different plants together, they can help each other out and grow more like they do in nature and be healthier plants as a result. So Jason, how does this kind of farming help the wilderness? Our farming works together with nature. Hmm. We, by us not using any poisons, by us trying to do th this planting of different types of plants yeah. and growing things to make our soil better, then we, we provide habitat for nature surrounding us. And we don't get any of those chemicals into the water or maybe into the soil where the wild animals might come and try to either eat something or drink a little water off the farm. Our farm's presence here never hurts anything else around yeah. us. That's wonderful. That's the way everybody should do it, I think. <laughs> so I guess there's the other question to ask is, how does the wilderness help you farm? Well, that's the best part. Because we farm in a way that doesn't harm the wilderness around us, our farm allows all of the nature around us to come in mm -hmm. to our fields. And that's a tremendous benefit to us. We get so much out of that when we get bugs that come in and eat other bugs. And we get snakes that come in and eat rats or yeah. gophers and things or bobcats that come and take care of rodents and things that would be a problem and we get such an enormous benefit from the nature surrounding us because it creates a balance it really helps out all of the different types of plants growing here so those animals are kind of like farmers too absolutely <laughs> there we're just looking into nature and asking for help yeah all of these methods we're using in farming together with nature are what make for really healthy plants, which is really tasty food for you. And that's exactly the kind of food that you can get when you go to the farmer's market. Yeah. You can support that kind of farming. So that's really great. You can help farmers too, just like the wild animals help the farmer. Uh, you can also help the farmer by shopping at a farmer's market, looking for organic food and treating your body right, eating really, really healthy, nutritious food. Alright, let's just summarize what Jason told us about the way that we farm here at Hidden Villa. First of all, we're an organic farm, which means we don't use poisons to kill bugs or weeds. And we try to work in unity with the local ecosystem. So we use a scientific approach, but it's all about how we can help the wilderness and how the wilderness can help us. We try to farm in a way that's more like the way nature grows plants. Instead of having rows and rows of the same kind of plant, we 
try to mix it up so that we have a variety of plants in every field that we use. We also try to provide habitats for wildlife that surrounds us so they're more interested in coming down and helping us pollinate or get rid of the bugs that are problems for us. So our farming is designed to avoid hurting anything around us. Again, we want to work in unity. We want to be part of this ecosystem. And finally, our local wildlife helps the farm. So again, they might pollinate, they might get rid of other bugs, and even catch the mice and rats that are trying to eat the food of the animals that are here on the farm. So this is the way that we would love to see farming done, um, not just here, but all over the world. This is Nicolette at Hidden Villa, and we hope to see you on the farm.